had some ringlets in the house. So happy hair is healthy hair and it's vibrant and it's so shiny and it's so soft and it's got its own personality. Look at this. Okay, I mean, it's gorgeous, okay? You could benefit off of this whether you have curly hair or not curly hair. It's a moisturization treatment as well. And according to some YouTube videos I was looking at um, before I got into this, it does help your hair grow. So we'll see. By the end of the summer, you know, I'll come back and do an update with you guys. We'll do like a 60 day and I'll let you know how much much my hair has grown because I do want my hair to grow to my to my hip that is actually some hair goals that I have freshly washed hair it's gonna go down right now I've had this aloe vera leaf for three days so this is my third serving out of it I didn't have to wash my hair, but I wanted to. I could have just rewetted it. I'm gonna show you how to make this aloe vera hair gel and natural conditioner to sustain you for like at least a, like five days in the fridge without it going bad, okay? So get you an aloe vera leaf, sell them at the grocery store, get a spoon. We're gonna scoop out. I cut off the end of the plant, the horizontal end. That's where they say some of the poison stays, so just throw that away. But we're not eating this. This is not being digested anyway. Get a spoon and scoop out the aloe vera gel. This is actually a gel. See that? It's just like a gel. Like hair gel. That's that gooey gooeyness. Gooey gooey gooeyness. Yeah. And I don't have much in here, but it's gonna be enough for the styling aid that I need today. And just like hair gel, you don't need to use an excessive amount. Because if you do, you'll look like you have like little white flakes, like if when you use too much hairspray. So you don't want too much either. of the leaf is empty. Okay. Ooh, there's the gel. Okay, y'all. We got a blender. I didn't even blend it the first time, but I'm going to show you some fancy way of doing it since I'm making a YouTube video. So the little bit, like a palmful of, of gel, just went into that blender. Okay. And now... I'm gonna show you the real secret that no one knows. Buy you some aloe vera water, okay? So the gel's in there. Now I'm going to open up the five gallon aloe vera water. And this helps you not having to buy so many aloe vera leaves. Cause sometimes they're at the grocery store and you can find them and sometimes you just can't, so. Yep, about that much water. Just depending how much hair you have, I don't have too much. Blend that baby with the gel in there. There it is. See, you could so just keep this in the fridge. You could so just keep that in the fridge. But we're gonna pour it back into the bowl and dip my hair into it. Exactly the aloe vera water and gel blended in a blender. Okay, now I'm just gonna dip my ends into it. You could do this in a spray bottle too. Oh, it feels so jelly, it's so cool. Pour the rest over my routage and fringe, which is the front center of your hair, ladies. You don't have to blend it in a blender. I just decided to do it fancy today since we did a YouTube channel video. Okay. 
get your hair immersed in it, saturated in it. You could put on a hair processing cap and this could be a treatment for you. But if you're wanting to use it as a styling aid, now that your hair is submerged in it, just get the excess out with a um, damp towel. So this is the towel I just showered with. It has a little bit of water in it. And we're going to wrap it around just to absorb the rest of the water out of my hair. Because the more it's wet, the longer it'll take to dry. And I want to show you guys this beautiful groovy result that I have with using aloe vera. I love it. It makes my hair very happy, very moisturized, and it's a very affordable natural product. Okay. All right. All right, the excess is out. The excess went into this towel, so I just have a good, good portion of it in my hair now. And I could totally just let this air dry and scrunch if I wanted to. But since we're showing you guys, I am going to give a quick comb through. Comb your hair before too, getting all your tangles out. I really don't want any frizz to start to form, so. So I have absolutely nothing in my hair but some olive vera water and gel. No conventional styling aids. Okay. Really done. Let this air dry and it's going to look fabulous, but since we're on YouTube, let's go ahead and style it with a blow dryer. So I have aloe vera in it now, gel and water, so it does have a natural thermal protectant in it because of the minerals and vitamin content from the aloe vera gel and the aloe vera water. So I don't have to use any fancy over-the-counter thermal protectors. I love using a diffuser for extra volume, but I also don't mind, especially when it's hot, to let my hair air dry, but we're going to diffuse this so y'all can see. I was busy thinking about boys. thing about this aloe vera gel. I know my curls are happy when they form ringlets. Okay, and this only happens when I go to Florida or California and I'm by the ocean because they are moisturized. And look, we got some ringlets in the house. So, happy hair is healthy hair and it's vibrant and it's so shiny and it's so soft and it's got its own personality. Look at this. Okay, I mean, it's gorgeous, okay? You could benefit off of this whether you have curly hair or not curly hair. It's a moisturization treatment as well. And according to some YouTube videos I was looking at um, before I got into this, it does help your hair grow. So we'll see. By the end of the summer, you know, I'll come back and do an update with you guys. We'll do like a 60 day and I'll let you know how much my hair has grown because I do want my hair to grow to my, to my hip. That is actually some hair goals that I have. 
and it is just so happy y'all and like i said you don't need a lot of gel you only want to put like a palmful of gel in like the whole entire water that you're going to be using to douse your hair in because it will flake just like conventional gel if you put too much and you don't want those white little you know like gel like the white little crusties that come when you use too much hairspray or gel so less is more i say more of the water than the gel but just a little gel for the structure i have absolutely and i will not be putting nothing else in my hair no hairspray no finishing spray no thermal protector this is it this is it bye bye excess hair retail stuff like hello to natural hydrating beautiful luminosity luminosity hair it's like just saying it's looking so luminous and i love it okay y'all y'all know that i'm a hairstylist so if you need a good cut because you do need a good cut for healthy hair like once a year maybe every eight months two ladies i got you hit me up emails down below other social media platforms are down below i love you all so much thank you so much send me some love heart emojis are my favorite and we'll see you next time. Namaste for real, for real this time. Bye. So I have a little aloe vera plant in the living room. And I wanted to show you what all I was saying about putting some in a bottle for styling aid the next couple days. But just make sure to keep it refrigerated. This is not a really big leaf, but this will give me some gel, as you see. I'm going to scoop that out. You don't really need a lot of gel. Less is more. So you can put it into the blender. Okay. And then in the blender, I'm going to put my aloe vera water. It does say keep refrigerated when not in use, so we will put all this in the refrigerator. <clears throat> okay, so this has some aloe vera gel and water in it, and we're going to blend it, and then we're going to put it in this. I'll keep that in the fridge and use it as a styling aid the next couple days. I bet you it can probably be safe in the fridge for about a week. So you gotta make a new batch. So let's try it and see. Hey, that is blended up really good. Pour this aloe vera gel water mixture. And this is going to be my styling aid for the next. I'm going to see how many days it goes in the fridge without it smelling funky. Spray bottle. And watch. Let me show you guys what I mean. Especially like if some areas of your hair are still a little frizzy. Okay, so look at your curls, look at your hair, and see what kind of needs like a little extra dousing and to be scrunched again, especially if you have curly hair. Because sometimes when we are diffusing it with the diffuser, we don't saturate or scrunch it the direction that the curl prefers. There we go, I had to put the camera down so I could do this. So right here, I don't really prefer those the way they're laying right there. So we're dousing it with the aloe vera water gel mix here. And then I'm gonna go in and re-scrunch. Just re-scrunch that area. There, yes, that's much happier. See that? So tomorrow, I won't wash my hair, I'll just wake up and douse it with the beautiful concoction that we have now. So keep it in the fridge if y'all end up doing this so it doesn't go ratchet. And have fun. Happy aloe vera dousing. 
Um, I know I said earlier I was gonna let you go, but make sure that you subscribe and stay up with me. I have some exciting new uh, website launching here soon with a lot of my bendy stones and Hindi indie um, jewelry that I love. So if you guys love that too, uh, um, yeah, I would love your support. So yeah, look at these curls. I just can't believe how happy they are. Love it. Let me know if you try. All right, I'll see y'all later. Peace, love, and light. Namaste.